All right, I'm going to try and pick up here where I left off in that last video. Um, I drew my picture out in uh, pen and ink uh, with this uh, pen right here and some uh, black ink. And now I'm filling in the, the value. And I'm doing that by uh, layers of washes, one wash at a time, um, a little bit dark and then add a little bit more and a little bit more. I don't want to get too dark too fast. I can always make it darker if I need to, but I can't make it lighter again. It's real hard to erase. Now again, I'm going to do parts here and there and work around. By the way, this is the original photograph. And uh, I'm going to try and match this as well as possible. Add a little ink to this and it will spread. If it doesn't spread, I can spread it. I'm not looking for perfection. I said this in the first video. Um, I like the uh, the kind of things that happen because of the material, because of the water, because of the looseness of it. So mistakes are good. Uh, natural appearance from the wash is good. Just adding a lot of water and, and I'm going to add some ink and let it run. Not too dark there. So I'll add some water. Drag it. 
By the way, if you do mess up, take your paper towel. Try and blot some of it out of there. See how, how that just came right up? Also leaves a really nice texture. You get um, sort of a watered down ink by going back and forth between the water and the ink. It takes a little while to get used to it, but I don't like the way this part right here looks in my sketchbook, so I'm going to darken that up a little bit. neat thing about ink and working wet on wet here is it gives you a lot of um, smooth flowing edges, kind of a fade from one side to the other side if you, if you manipulate that ink right. While at the same time you can get some, some hard lines like that too uh, by not working wet into wet, by not working the ink into the wet water. Um, A shadow across here. <laughs> 